thing I'm going to talk about in this video does not really need any introduction. It's the Xamarin Community Toolkit Tab View. So if you want to do tab views, um, tab pages in Xamarin Forms, then you know whenever you want to change something very custom, then you immediately need a custom renderer. That's just the way it works on native platforms. Uh, but with the Tab View, we take all of that away. We use only Xamarin Forms elements, and you will have so much control over what you can customize. This video only scratches the surface, um, but let's go check it out. And if there's anything more you want to see, let me know as always in the comments and I'll be sure to do that. But first, let's check out what you can do right now. So here we have a file new Xamarin Forms application running in Visual Studio for Mac 2019. Now you have the exact same experience on Visual Studio on Windows, of course. Um, it will just look and feel a little bit different, but here we are on Mac. Um, on the right, you can see the iOS simulator running this application. This is just a template that you get out of the box. Now, I will be able to show you this demo basically only by using Hot Reload, which you know um, just allows you to edit your XAML, and um, whenever you save, it will show up automatically on your simulator on your device. I just need to stop it for now to install the um, Xamarin Community Toolkit, which is just a NuGet package. So if I go here to the solution and I right-click on the solution level and say Manage NuGet get packages and I'm going to search for xamarin.community toolkit. Here we go. Just last night at the time of recording, I have released version 1.0.1. So be sure to check that out. It doesn't have any great new things, um, but I had mistakenly added a dependency to the markup package right here. So you got that for free, um, but that wasn't intended. So I've removed that dependency and now you can just um, install these packages separately from each other. So add package right here you want to add them to all three of your projects so the Android and iOS one and the shared one because the shared one will have all your abstract bits um, in this case the tab view and for iOS and Android of course we want to have the renderers in there to render it on that platform now I know for sure that Android and iOS are supported um, I'm not entirely sure about UWP um, but the other platforms are not supported so GDK Mac OS um, if you are an expert in that please feel free to you know contribute that tab view to the other platforms and make a lot of other people probably really happy. Um, although I'm not actually sure if that's the case because I think tab view might use all Xamarin Forms controls. So maybe, maybe, please try this out and let me know in the comments. Um, maybe I'm very much mistaken here and I'm too much in the mindset of how Xamarin Forms work because I think tab view is a composite control. Um, so, you know, that will just use all Xamarin Forms um, elements and this should just work on all the platforms. So that is really, really cool actually. So go check that out. Let me know in the comments if you are using it on anything else than iOS and Android and let me know how that goes. Um, okay, so the toolkit is installed and I'm going to add one more thing before just running it again um, because to use the um, the toolkit, you can uh, import this namespace right here, which is XML NS. I'm going to name it XCT. So if you want to do anything else, that is fine too. Uh, but here you can see we have one of those fancy URLs, um, just like the other ones, like forms, for instance, here. Um, and we have this one, uh, 2020 edition toolkit, and this imports all the namespaces you need. So now when you just do XCT, whoops, XCT, you can find all the things that are in the toolkit. Now, how cool is that? You don't need to um, put in all the other different namespaces in here. You just do this one and you got access to everything. So actually let's import the tab view right here. Let's do that. Now this becomes red because in your page, you can just have this one element of course. So this is going to break, but I'll fix that in a moment. Um, Actually, let's let's remove this for now. Let's run it first so I can just do updates while I'm talking about this. And while we're doing this, waiting for the app to come up. So here it is already installing. Um, there we go. So now we have the same application back again. Um, and now I can say XCG tab view. Whoops, the tab batch template. That is very interesting as well, but I'm after the tab view right now. So adding the tab view and the tab view is just, you know, that is basically the equivalent of the tabbed page, if you will, uh, where you can add like different pages to your um, different tab in the tab bar. Um, 
Um, so what we can do, I'm just going to copy this. Well, actually, I'm going to cut this whole stack layout here and I'm going to add a tab view item in here. So a tab view item is basically the equivalent of your tab. Um, and inside of that, I can say tab view item dot content. The IntelliSense mixes it up here because I am making this a closing one. Here we go. Um, let's do this. And now inside this content, I can paste this whole thing here. Um, let's make sure we format this nicely. And whenever I save this, you don't see much of a difference. You see suddenly a white bar here at the top, which is actually the tab bar that you're looking at. Um, but you know, in iOS with the notch, you can't really see it that well. Um, and we didn't actually add any text to this um, tab view item. So we'll get to that in a minute, but you can see this is now our new page wrapped in a tab view. So this is the only tab. So this is just looking fine. Um, but the one thing we forgot to do is of course the title. Here we go. Tab view sample. Here we go. Save that. Boom. Tab view sample. Okay. Now we're on the road. Um, so what you can do here is paste in the content. And right now the content needs to be a view. Um, I think we're thinking about changing that to pages so that you can also put pages in here. But for now, um, you want to paste your layouts in here. So the thing that you would normally put in your page um, is the thing that you now are um, putting inside of this content. So that is something we are thinking about working on. Um, please find the issue that we have open for this on the repository and let us know your thoughts or put it in the comments below. Um, but that is something that we're working on. But for now, this is the way it is. Um, so content and at the tab view item, you can do a lot of things. So now, um, actually, let me copy this whole item again. So here we go. Let's uh, copy this, the item. Let's create another one, save that. Um, you don't see much of a difference, but I can swipe here. So you can see I've got two tabs now. Um, so you see swiping is already something that was not in the box uh, whenever you use like the native tab control in Xamarin Forms, right? So that was already something that you needed a custom renderer for, even if it's possible, like with um, iOS, I don't think that is something that is done natively. So this is something that you already had to do some trickery for, but um, this now comes out of the box. So, but let's um, actually to, to make the um, difference a little bit more clear between the pages. Let's make this one red. So now we have two tabs, right? So that's really cool. Um, and in our tab view item, we can do a lot more. So one of the things is say, um, add a text and we are going to say page one here save that. And you can already see it here just outside of the notch. You can see that page coming up. Um, and whenever I do this for the other one, um, I say text is page two. Here we go. Save that. And you can see it here because it, it you know, it um, distributes it evenly over the space that's available here. So page one, page two, can I click it? No, I no, see I can reach it just below the notch. So you can see I can um, change it with with the tab things here or I can swipe it. So you so that's that's how you navigate these tabs and I can add multiple more um, and it will still just work. So on iOS, it's normal to have the tabs at the bottom, but you can see you can also have them at the top. So that is cool. Um, so now we go to our tab view level and we say uh, placement. So here we have tab strip placement and we can say bottom. Whenever I save that, you can see boom, it moves to the bottom down here. So now we have page one, page two, we can flip over them by just clicking these or we can still swipe it. Um, of course, you can also disable that swipe thing. So is swipe enabled if we set that to false and I save it again, um, then you can swipe anymore and you can just do it by um, clicking on these. So this is more like your traditional um, approach that you would take. Um, but you know, I like the swiping for here. So let's keep it. Um, and so these are all things that are already not standard with um, using vanilla Xamarin form. So this is already a big win when you're using a tap view, right? So that is pretty, pretty cool. Now, if we go back to one tap view item, um, another thing that is not possible without a custom render right now um, is we can say it the background color. So let's make the background color the same color as this little thing right here. So um, for this one here, you can see um, that is the background color. We can also set the text color. So, so let's make that white so that it's a little bit um, designer fancy thing. So here we can see it has now the white text color and a blue background. Um, it doesn't change whenever it's selected, but we can fix that as well. Um, because you have a couple of properties like text color, which have the text color selected. 
um, and there's a couple of bunch more that you have that also have that selected post fix um, so badge background selected you can change the font when it's selected you can change the icon when it's selected so that is really really cool but one of the things is the text color selected so whenever we do that let's make it um, green I don't know save that and you can see it's selected by default so here you can see that it's now green and whenever I go to the other one it turns white and whenever I go back it turns green um, so that is pretty cool now for the other one, I can do the same thing. So I can say, um, here we go, text color, whoops, text color is white, background color is red because we wanted to keep that the same. So here you can see now we have the blue and the red one. So that works, right? Um, let's make that selected one green as well so we can know which one is selected. Uh, text color selected, green. Okay, now now we're back on track. So you can see by the green one, which is selected, uh, because it's not obvious when it's blue or red. But you know, anyway. Um, so that is another thing you can do. That is pretty wild, right? So these are all things that you would have to use a custom renderer for before. Um, and one thing, I mean, there's a million things I can show you with this tab view. Please let me know in the comments what else you want to see um, with your use case, um, what else there is, because also be sure to check out the sample app um, on the Xamarin Community Toolkit um, repository because it has a couple of different scenarios with the tab view that you can use. Uh, this is just an introduction to show you um, what you can do with it, just an introduction to make you um, meet all the things that are in there right now. Um, but you know, there's much more possible. So if I'm missing anything that is interesting to you, please let me know. Um, so if we go back to the tab view again, there's much of um, things here as well we can say the the tab content height uh, the tab indicator height tab strip height so let's play with that a little bit if i make that 100 you can see the tabs uh, become much bigger so that is something that you can do as well um, there's that there's one other thing to show you because uh, one thing that is often requested as well is the badges uh, so that we can do as well so we have a couple of batch things that we can do here i can say just batch text is 10 at Whenever we do that, you can see here the 10 showing up in a little bubble. Uh, we can also make that badge, badge, uh, <clears throat> background color red. So, you know, it's more of like the, the badge in, in iOS. Um, and then also we need it to be white, of course. So the badge text color is going to be white. So here we go. So now it looks like the badge on iOS, right? Um, so you can indicate, you know, that something is happening on this tab. Um, I think you can also work with animations if that's what you want with this badge. I think if we like reload this, if you really cl look closely here and as the page reloads, I think there is a little, whoops, that was a screenshot. I think there is a little um, animation going on here as well. Um, so that is pretty cool. You can do, so I did this on a tap you item. So, you know, for each item you can have a different badge. So if I would do like the same thing here, um, and say badge text. So it's a string. So I can also do hello. I'm not sure if that's going to work by the way, or that I'm breaking things. Okay. So you can do text too. Um, it becomes more horizontally stretched, but it's definitely something you can do. And actually something that cannot be missing in your tabs. Um, so I said, I think the badges would be the last thing, but um, there is another last thing. One more thing um, just to keep you here in suspense, um, of course, is the icons. So what you can also do on the tab view item is say, hey, I want to give this tab an icon. And you can also change the icon with when it's selected. So this is another one of the properties that has a selected one as well. So before this demo, I've added a couple of resources. Um, actually, they're not here. So let me see if I can quickly add them again. I think they're still on the file system, but just not in the project. So here we go. A circle and a triangle. They're both white. So that's what they're not showing up. Let me see if they're still on Android resources, drawable, no existing files, um, circle, triangle. There we go. And of course, if you want to do this right, you want to, you know, add all the different kind of um, resolutions for the right pixel density and that kind of stuff. Uh, but I can just say icon and I can say circle.png. And if I save that, I should be able, there we go, to see the circle. And if I do the other one here, I can say icon is triangle.png. Save that. And there we have the triangle, see? So you can also have icons. You can have different icons whenever they are selected. 
Um, so that is something that cannot be missing as well from your tab, of course. Um, and that is basically how you do the basics with the tab view. Again, if you want to see a little bit more um, in detail some things, please let me know in the comments what you want to see. Also, be sure to check out the sample application in the Xamarin uh, Community Toolkit. You can go there easy and quickly by using the URL aka.ms slash xct. Um, that will bring you right to the repository. Be sure to check out the sample app under the samples folder um, and have a play with this yourself. And these were just a couple of options, icons, swiping to select a tab, um, different text colors whenever you select a uh, tab or not, different icons whenever you select the tab or not, um, the badges, badge support, this is wild. This is wild. And it's so easy to use. You know, the syntax is just um, super simple if you ask me. Um, so, you know, get started with this. Let me know how you like it. Um, if there's anything else you, I've said this a couple of times already. If you want to see a different scenario with tab views, please let me know in the comments. Um, I know you like this video. So just click that like button, click that subscribe button. Um, if you want to see more videos and want to be immediately notified, ding that bell, become part of the notification squad. And I'll be seeing you for my next video. Keep coding.